So she would start blaming me for things that the other staff members did. For example, um, the assistant manager would go in on Wednesdays at like five o'clock, five, six o'clock in the morning to do inventory. And she forgot to turn on the one of the toaster ovens. And when the manager came in, she accused me of forgetting to turn on the toaster ovens and started to blame me until the assistant manager spoke up and told her that it was her and not me. There was another time on a Wednesday that the assistant manager filled the sanitizer sink with water. And when the store manager came in, she blamed me and said that I did it until the assistant manager spoke up and told her that she was the one that filled the sanitizer sink with water and not me. But the store manager right away blamed me. She assumed and blamed me. So she was very harsh with me. But when the assistant manager spoke up, she was very sweet towards the assistant manager. It got to the point that when the store manager would ask me a question, she wouldn't ask in a way that she wanted insight or to be helpful. She asked in a way that she was getting ready to attack me verbally and she just wanted to fight and argue. Keep in mind that she was only like that with me. She wasn't like that with anybody else. She was only like that with me. The store manager completely ignored me. When I would leave at the end of my shift, she wouldn't say, have a great day, have a good night. She would just completely ignore me. When she hired a bunch of new girls, some of them were school age. There were some that were in their early 20s. They would ignore me too. They would completely ignore me. They wouldn't talk to me. And I was very isolated and they became like a little click. She would talk about me to the customers. She would make indirect comments that were directed at me. And it was just a lot. It was like a lot. Like I'm talking about it to you guys, but imagine having to work in that kind of environment. It was the same thing with the owner. The owner went from liking having me around and enjoying having me work at his store to completely ignoring me to not talking to me when he would show up at the store he would say hi to his other employees but he would completely ignore me when the owner did say hi to me it was like a hi cindy but when he saw everybody else he was laughing he was joking around he was having a conversation but when it came to me it was like hi cindy and he just kept walking and went about his day but he was nice to everybody else. He would talk to everybody else. And like I said, the owner, the store manager, the assistant manager, and all the other employees, they all got along. They were all, you know, kumbaya around the campfire. And I was the only one that was set apart. But yeah, that's it. I was singled out and targeted for harassment and bullying. I was isolated and set apart by the owner, the store manager, the assistant manager, and the other employees. And in my next video, I'm going to be talking about, did I try to leave? Did I try to look for other jobs? What did I have some kind of exit strategy? And I will be talking about that next. Mwah.